Sans serif fonts have a special place in design. The word sans in French means without serifs. In the past 20 years, serif fonts have taken a backseat to sans serif fonts. Sans serif fonts tend to have a more modern, clean, and sleek appearance, but they can sometimes lack the subtle elegance or charm needed in a particular situation. But if you want a modern, clean look, then a sans serif might become your best friend. Sans serif fonts are fonts that like the serif or tails or accents at the end of characters. Clean and simple, these can have some benefits over serif fonts in many situations. They can convey a sense of modernism and minimalism. Sans serif fonts originated at a much later date than its serif predecessor. That's because the use of digital and computer screens required a more clean and simple font. Back when computers had a low resolution display, the small details in serif fonts were lost and thus the need for a more simple sans serif font. Sans serif fonts are fantastic for big, bold headlines. Take for instance this poster design. A serif font just does not have the high impact modern design I'm going for. The sans serif font works perfectly and matches the overall theme of the poster. Sans serifs work great for headlines, but for small body copy that comes in large blocks of text, they can sometimes get lost. They are great for websites and digital mediums, and that's what they're designed for. But for print projects that require large blocks of text, sometimes a serif font works a little better, but it depends on the mood and style you're going for. It's hard not to mention a sans serifs without mentioning Helvetica. A sans serif like Helvetica works well with tight spacing. All sans serifs, especially when lowercase, work very well with tight spacing or gaps between the characters. Futura is a geometric style of sans serif. They tend to be mathematically precise, with its perfect round curves and circles. The Google logo is very close to Futura, although they added their own flair, of course. Dulce and Gabbana use Futura de My Bold as their typeface of choice. Avant-garde is a font you may have seen several times in your lifetime, as they use that in all lowercase for the Adidas logo. Also notice that it's all lowercase and they're using tight spacing, and this looks nice and works really well. Many companies that try to reinvent themselves in the modern era will sometimes switch their font from a serif to a sans serif to show an adaptation to the digital modern world. Google is a great example of this in action. I remember seeing the old Google font in the early days of the internet with its old style serif font. Of course, after a recent rebrand, they switched to a sans serif font and it really helps to make the logo feel more sleek, fresh, and revitalized. Now that we know some of the basic typefaces and some of their uses in design, we're ready to learn about how to space them, learn what kerning is, and how font weights can dramatically impact a design's mood and feel.